Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane, and today I'm back with another tour review, and this time, Blitzwing. Legacy Blitzwing. I have been eagerly waiting for a Blitzwing ever since I picked up Astro Train, which you can actually see right there. That was my first Transformer that uh, I bought. It was for Father's Day about uh, two years ago. Uh, at the same time, my son got me Soundwave uh, that you see here. And uh, that uh, spiraled me down a, uh, well, this road. And uh, I, I have no regrets. Uh, but I've been wanting a, a Blitzwing. Uh, I know a lot of people are uh, there, you know, are saying that we didn't need a new updated version because of the Titan Returns and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I love this guy. Um, even though the alt mode looks uh, weird with the tank and the plane, uh, the robot mode is pretty fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. I didn't even, uh, usually it's already open, but I haven't had a chance. This is part of a haul I just got from DJC Collectible, my sponsor. And if you stick until the end of the video, you'll be able to get your 10% discount code for that store. And also check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And now let's roll the intro. Dethrone Megatron for years. He's a failure. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start with the French word of the day, disappointing, because it means disappointed, as you could guess. Because there's a couple things that are really disappointing with this figure. I usually start in robot mode, but there's a reason why I'm gonna start with uh, the plane mode. But first, we're gonna look at uh, the instructions, and they're pretty big. And they take a lot of space, but they do give out proper information. I'm not gonna do the scroll thing, the little gimmick, fun stuff I do usually. It's uh, cumbersome, uh, which could be another French word of the day, encombre, which means cumbersome. The box is, looks really good. I mean, great artwork. You have uh, the two alt modes shown, Blitzwing, Transformers Legacy, uh, you know, the usual uh, packaging art. And then the product shots, and they tell you what to do with these. Uh, I'm not gonna call it hands, and I'll explain why. But yeah, and then you have the QR code if you want to get the bio and the stats. And here you have more artwork, and that's pretty much it. So nice box, does the job. Uh, then you get you get these things, and everybody's calling them hands. What type of hands have two thumbs? That's just, that's why I don't think they're hands. And anything that's shown that, that you know, that they tell you, you can plug this here and then it, it, it can be propeller. I'm not gonna show any of this because this is useless plastic that we don't need. And they should have melted this down and give us a rigid sword instead of this flexible thing. That's going to bend and if it, ugh. It looks amazing though, it does. It looks great, but it's kind of lame to use that rubbery thing. And then you get to the actual plane mode. Well, you get two accessory. Yeah, I guess I'll remove them. You get two accessories, uh, guns. Those are, you know, standard Hasbro, waffly molded stuff. Uh, paint is good, or is it colored plastic? You know, you can see a spruce thing here. It's kind of lame. Same here. So, but they're good. And then you get to this plane mode, and I kept telling myself, eh, "It's not that bad." Before I got it, it's that bad. Uh, it's, you know, looks great. You know, maybe a little excessive uh, at the back. Uh, but then you get to this and it doesn't even peg properly and you have the huge kibble underneath. I'm never gonna display, like a lot of people used to complain about Astro Train's uh, shuttle mode. It's leagues ahead of this stuff here. Um, so that's my disappointment. The, the whole kibble at the bottom, 
uh, looks crap. The paint is amazing, the Decepticon logo, the details, uh, the cockpit, translucent uh, red, uh, the tip looks really good. Um, you can plug uh, the uh, the guns here if you want to. Well, no, hold on. This way, yeah, you can plug them all the way in the back or you can plug, plug them here forward. I guess you could plug it underneath here. Uh, there's a picture going around on Facebook where it shows you that you can this like improperly transform this to make a stand and so it looks like the the plane is flying uh, I thought that was a good idea because it's it's probably for people who want to display this it's probably a lifesaver uh, but yeah I didn't expect it to be that bad so yeah there's a point eh? it, it it happens you know not every uh, figure is gonna be a tarantulas and it doesn't well okay it stands so now i'm going to do some do i do size comparison for this yeah i guess i will let's remove this and uh, let's compare him with toys r us exclusive trust another exclusive gigawatt and triple changer buddy astro train in shuttle mode and really uh you know oh i mistransformed it ha ah, it's been a while sorry hold on there you go clip 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 there you go and yeah, I mean this, you know, it's, people complain about this. Um, I never did. He's my first uh, Transformer um, that my son got me. Or actually, that no, my first Decepticon that uh, uh, me and my son purchased together. He got me Soundwave, I got this one. Uh, so he's, uh, he's special to me. And since I had him, I, I've been waiting for a Blitzwing. So, but then if you compare these two modes, Astro Train blows this out of the water. So, anyway, so we're done with comparison. I'm going to show you uh, nothing because I'm not going to pretend to do the transformation. Let's put him in uh, tank mode. Well, that took a little longer than I expected because they show you how to transform him from uh, robot to, no from tank to robot and then robot to plane they don't show you plane to tank which would have been useful uh, for me to you know be able to speed this up and I'm so glad I don't do transformations on screen but this is the alt mode there's already an upgrade kit that my buddy Benjamin Whitcomb um, who, who, who you may know from the chat uh, and a couple of my streams too he, uh, he got a um, showed me a picture of an upgrade kit where basically you add a piece here to cover the uh, the cone, well, the nose thing, uh, the cockpit, and it, it adds a little, you know, piece here. It looks more like a tank and maybe it hides uh, stuff in the back, but I think that's the better of the two alt mode, but I think overall they went with robot mode cartoon accuracy. That was their goal. Um, because I guess they realize people display more often in uh, robots. That's just, you know, my understanding or my reasoning. Uh, because uh, this, it's a good tank. I prefer this tank to um, Megatron or Warpath. Like Warpath's engineering was really good, but uh, I prefer this uh, this tank. Uh, he's a uh, little gappy, or maybe I forgot the flip a panel I don't think so but you know don't quote me on that uh, but I mean the turret goes like this and it does move up like this uh, you have the treads with the wheels it rolls just fine um, yes this looks really weird and you can't really you know extend them uh, to make it more flat because they stick out uh, from underneath so you're stuck with that uh, so yeah maybe well instead of this crap they could have done a piece uh, to go along with it so that you uh, don't have to see that I mean this looks like uh, a plane with treads from this angle uh, but I like uh, I like the tank mode a lot more uh, than I do the uh, the plane mode 
the uh, the thing the, the the paint the plastic is good i like the color uh very accurate uh the logo uh you know a lot of people are saying that this is accurate to the uh you know maybe i mistransformed it because i'm seeing the head right now i don't know i'll have to look it up don't quote me on anything and uh, it's not my best review i find uh, but uh, the, uh, the I like the way it looks. I like the paint, the molded details. Toy Axe is probably going to do something amazing. I think their sticker sheet for this one is either 25 or 35 So it's a little more expensive. But it would enhance uh, all that uh, dark beige very, uh, very well. Or is it light brown? Nah, it's dark beige. So overall, satisfied with the alt mode now let's do some size comparison with uh, g2 gobot optimus prime buzzwordy bumblebee origin bumblebee and astro train uh, without all of his accessories i love that train mode okay and a lot of people complain about the kibble in the back but i think it fits and he's just one of the most impressive siege figure in my opinion i really like this guy and then um Hold on, I'm gonna remove this, sorry. A little confused today. You can add the guns here if you want to. You can put them in front here, there's a peg there. Uh, I guess if you want to, you could add something here on top to give it an extra kick. Uh, but there's always the possibility that you'd wanna put the sword somewhere, probably on top. And it looks dumb. So yeah, so overall satisfied with the alt mode. And now let's switch to robot mode. What do you mean ours? You broke my scoreboard. Well, let me tell you, this is where this guy shines. He looks like he just walked out of the screen. It's fantastic. Couple things that you can do. If you really want to have the proper animation model, you can extend this thing very simply you can put this back up like this because in the animation model back in g1 he did have the huge cannon sticking out uh from uh, from the back so you can keep that if you want and actually i think it looks pretty good i like that uh the accessories you can use the guns you can plug it uh, up here you can do uh, the forearms and then the sword is gonna go somewhere you know left hand right hand depending if you prefer to have your ro robots uh left-handed or right-handed this whole section this whole segment was useless um i like how he looks i mean he does have a bit of a kibble in the back and i have to say that this this is this part here is supposed to go over this and mine doesn't clip properly so that's just my copy i'm hoping uh, or else it's a major QC issue uh, but it doesn't affect anything it doesn't affect the look it doesn't affect nothing he's fantastic that way and uh, I love the paint I mean the yellow sticking out um, I do have the same line okay I hope you can see it but right in the middle of the visor there's a mold line right there and there's really no reason for it I'm not too bothered by it you really have to look and pay attention and you'll see it but otherwise you know he looks the part with a little toy hacks decal there it's gonna look fine uh the arms uh you know basically you take this part here which used to hide the shoulder flip it around and then it covers the it's not the greatest hole cover but it's yeah it does the job uh yeah it doesn't clip though i wish you know that's something that should have been included and the feet, I think it's, uh, this is actually uh, uh, accurate to the animation model. There's that little piece uh, on, the, on the feet. And, you know, the way that they transform it, uh, it's actually pegged in really good. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a good way to, you know, create feet with uh, plain parts. So yeah, overall, I dig the look, the details, the silver highlights and the the ties uh, looks really good and i really like the head sculpt it's really spot on to me so that's good 
Uh, let's see what we have for articulation. So we have the head, who's on a ball joint, it's gonna rotate. You have no rotation at the shoulder. You have that movement here because of transformation, but there's no rotation. Uh, this part doesn't rotate, but inside you do have a rotation, but it's stuck there. So you have, I guess, you have a 90 degree here. You have a rotation under the shoulder. You have a almost more than 90 degree. It's like 87 uh, bend. You have rotation at the wrist, really good. So we don't have our Ferris wheel, uh, but we do have the merry-go-round. So that's pretty good. Uh, no ab crunch. Well, nah. Uh, you do lift the skirt, he's able to kick up. And there's no skirt in the back, so he's not able to kick back. You do have a more than 90 degree bend at the knee. That's always a good thing for posability. And then you do have the ankle tilt, tilt sorry, the ankle tilt. Uh, but you don't have a back and forth. But I mean, you could pose him uh, if you want to use the heel and the toes uh, to create uh, leverage. So it's a possibility. So yeah, he looks the part. He's going to look great on my new shelves. Really happy to have another season two bots. And uh, let's do some uh, size comparison just for fun. So here is Legacy Blitzwing with Generation Select Nightbird, fellow Triple Changer, well not fellow, but you know, other truck Triple Changer, Siege Springer. Uh, and Springer is, uh, I guess head to head, Springer's a little bit taller, but uh, you know, it's okay. And fellow Tug, Astro Train. And I'm really happy to be able to display these two together. So uh, let's, uh, well, let me just uh, accessorize Blitzwing and we'll do the final thoughts. Tell you what, guys, why don't you go build a bridge and jump off it? Constructicons, transform into Devastator! <laughs> So in the end, I, I will enjoy having Blitzwing displayed alongside Astro Train on my Season 2 shelf. I mean, he looked good, even the sword in his hand looks uh, pretty good. And uh, maybe I'll get the Toy Hacks uh, decals for both of these, and uh, depending on the price. Uh, and I think I'm going to keep the cannon on top like that. It really, really makes it more accurate to the G1 cartoon. I really dig that. So. You know, but it's up to you, it's your figure, you do what you want with it, so. I'm a little disappointed with uh, the out modes, uh, mainly the plane. I don't mind the tank uh, as much, maybe I'll get the upgrade kit. Uh, depend, And that's not depending on the price of the kit, that's depending on the shipping of the kit. That's always a killer. But yeah, overall, uh, pleased with this figure, I've been waiting for him for three years. And uh, I'm happy to have it, even though uh, this uh, mold has its limitation. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!